Did you see what happened with uh, Russell Brand over there? Yeah, I saw what happened with Russell Brand. Um, again, this is what was said, yeah. part of the female-led gynocentric order, where if they feel a certain way, because remember, he hasn't been convicted of anything. He hasn't been mm. arrested. He hasn't, no, nothing like that's happened. Someone, a female, have, <laughs> have come out and said, he made me feel mm. like this. It's like, okay, cool. I'm not saying he didn't do it. Yeah. I'm not saying he did. <clears throat> I'm saying, what are we proving here? What are we going to, what are we convicting of him of? What, what's his charge? There is no charge. What? Mm. He's been charged via the media? Do you know what I mean? And that's what's going on. People will literally charge via media nowadays and just think that, yeah, that means you should be, you should be canceled. Why? Because a bunch of women say so. So through ac accusations enough to cancel someone. Accusations is enough to cancel <clears throat> people. And what that's done with me is that that has made me move and sit, because I've seen it. Yeah. It's made me move very differently when it comes to women. It has. Um, I can't be reckless. I can't be left alone with women. I, I don't want to... Uh, I did an interview with a woman with just me and her a few months back. And, and even then I was like, mm, I'm a little bit uncomfortable with this, you know, because she could come out and just say, oh, he made me feel like this. And I'm like, yeah. I'm done. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm done for. Yeah. Um, I'm, I, I, would pre I prefer now, when I'm doing interviews, to, for it to be me and another man in the room. Do you so get what I'm saying? Does it, does it kind of scare you now, being around yeah, women? It's, it's, in, it's, yeah, it's a little bit scary now, being around women, because it's like, well, you had Trevor Bauer the other day. I don't know if you saw the, the, uh, baseball, the player. baseball player, yeah. what happened yeah. with him. You had Trevor Bauer being accused. You've had Russell Van being accused. You've had Benjamin Mendy being accused. You've had... The JLS singer, I remember he was accused, mm -hmm. he got off. It's just, it's just becoming rampant now. And I'm just like, yeah. you know what? You guys ain't catching me. I, I prefer to just <laughs> stay by myself. Like, I'm just be like, I, I, I don't want to be alone with random women. No, I just don't. You almost have to have cameras everywhere, don't you? You have to have yeah. cameras everywhere. Yeah. And, and I've actually advocated for men to record their meetings with women. And now yeah. that's not gone down very well on the women's side. I yeah? can imagine though, yeah. yeah? But yeah. I'm saying, well, the bottom line is, if I'm a man yeah. and I'm meeting you for like the first, and I don't really know you, I'm going to have to record you because yeah. you could come back and say, he made me, he done this. He made me feel that way. And my life is over. So I would prefer to be looked upon as a misogynist mm. than a rapist. I see what you mean. Do you, you know mean, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah. I, I would prefer, but because you're not getting me with that kind of charge. No way. <laughs> no <laughs> way. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not having that kind of charge. Um, talking about Tony Bauer, mm -hmm. um, because I think he's... Trevor Bauer. Oh, it's Trevor Bauer, sorry. Yeah, Trevor sorry. Bauer. He's, he's worth quite a lot of money, though, isn't he? I think it's 51 million, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, do you know what happened with that exactly? I think someone accused him of... The woman accused him. Um, she texted her friends before realising... Be before going to meet him. So she was like, my next victim. Her text said, next victim, Trevor Bauer, yeah. is worth 51 million. So her friend's like, you better get that bag. Damn. She texts back saying, well, I've got to get him to choke me out, right? <laughs> like, this is what she's texting her friend. Yeah. And apparently that's exactly what happened. And then the morning after, she's videoing herself, like, laying next to him, like, hey. But she told people that she was violently attacked. I see, yeah, yeah. And so it's like, well, once all of this evidence comes out, it's like, this isn't like a violent attack. This looks like you actually set this up. She was interviewed to, with some lady in America. And um, she just looked like a liar. She just looked like a liar. And everything <laughs> yeah, that she was saying was lying. And I'm just like, even though she looks like a liar, and you can see she's clearly lying, mm. my thing is, is she going to go to prison for it? Yeah, I see what you mean. Is she going to go to prison for it? And if it was the other way around. If it was the other way around. Mm. Trevor Bauer lost his... Um, he didn't play in, in, in Major League Baseball for two years. Wow. Um, remember what happened to Benjamin Mendy? He didn't play for two years. Mm. He had to fight it. Now these people have lost out on so much money, time, their family, all of this kind of stuff. You can't get that kind of stuff back. And these women just get to walk off into the night like they've never done anything. It's like, you just destroyed that person's life. Like, yeah. that, and it's like, that is where we're at. We're, we are allowed in this society right now for women to destroy the lives of men and just get away with it. And if anything, they get a bit more because now they're kind of famous. Right, they get clout. <laughs> they get yeah, clout, they get it, clout so. yeah, yeah. You know, that's the times we're living in, man. I, th I think it's scary because when, you, when you're talking about Trevor Bauer, it's like, um, what happens if he didn't have that text? What happens right. if she never sent that text or she right. never took that video? Right. He, how, he might have ended in jail, right? How many, it makes you wonder how many men are sitting down in a prison cell that yeah. have said that they didn't do anything, that really didn't do anything, but because a woman cried, 
Because you remember there was a time mm. where a woman crying was a big thing. Like, oh my God, she's crying. Something must have happened. Yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> she right. could just be trying to get some money, bro. Like, <laughs> women know how to cry nowadays. Like, and they know that it's that you can be that damsel in distress and garner all of the attention and people will automatically assume it happened with Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Mm. Do you remember? That she came wild. out. Yeah, that was wild. Do you know what I'm saying? Amber Heard came out. She was crying. A woman's tears to me nowadays don't really mean anything. I'm not even going to lie. And people say it's harsh. I'm like, if I see a woman crying on the TV, on, the, on, on, on social media, I'm withholding judgment. I'm not saying she is, something happened or didn't happen, Just, but I'm going to withhold judgment. Okay, I judgment. see. I see, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So.